I'm getting ready to change the oil on my 2011 Cadillac DTS with the Vortec Vortec North Star engine. It takes seven and a half quarts for 5W30. Now, as you can see, I've got the bumper off this one. I'm doing some other work, but your uh, where you add your oil is right here, just to the left of the engine cover. So I have that off. And you'll notice it says right on the cover, 5W30. So that's what I have and what I'm using for a filter. Where are you, filter? Oh, it's down there. I'll show you the box. I'm using a MicroGuard that was on sale. MGL51522. Now I'm going to sell this car, so if they want to put better oil and better filters on it they can so just to the left of center is where your oil filter and your drain plug is on the passenger side so let me get down there so right behind this piece of frame next to the engine the oil drain pan is the filter as you can see this one has a little bit of an oil leak and right back there where that drip is Here's where the drain plug is, and it's 13 millimeters. And mine was on really tight. I had to get a rubber hammer and smack my, cr or, uh, my ratchet to get it to come loose. I was having trouble doing it with my hand. So it's just about down, done dripping. I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug in. Now it does hold a lot of oil. This is an old paint pan I use. Seven and a half quarts, it's quite a bit of oil, so make sure you have a big enough container. I'll put the drain pan back in and I've got a oil filter wrench here and hopefully I can put that on here and loosen this up pretty easily yep some of those get torqued on so hard you can't even get them off let me get my uh, plug in and I'll get the filter off now make sure you got your drain pan underneath your oil filter when you pull it off because it's gonna be full of oil and this is one of those filters that's sitting up and down, so you can actually fill it half full or mostly full of oil before you put it back on. Now, this should unscrew it pretty easy because it just came loose with the wrench. Yeah, it probably would if it wasn't so slippery. Let's see if we can get that a little bit looser. There we go. Now she's loose. Now she'll come off and spill oil everywhere. Like I said, make sure you got your pan here. I'm gonna go ahead and use two hands so I don't make my, drop my phone or make a big mess with the splash, I think, let me see. Maybe I can just unscrew it here. There it goes. Turn it upside down in my drain pan. Can drain the oil out. Let that sit there for a minute and I'll wipe it clean. Now when you put your new filter on, take some fresh oil. Where'd my filter go? There it is. There's an O-ring, a rubber gasket on the other side of it. Make sure it's nice and clean and put a little bead of oil on it so it goes on nice and easy. I'll be back. Now this is the oil I'm using. It was on sale with the filter. I got the high mileage because this one has 135,000 miles on it. Just regular, it's not synthetic. Let me go ahead and open this up and get some on the filter and I'll put that back on. Like I said, just put a little oil on your finger. Run it around the rubber seal. Now I put this one gasket down on the ground which probably isn't a good idea. But it's, I just blew the dirt off of it, so it's just asphalt. Anyway, I'm going to screw this back on there. Now, you just want to hand tighten it. You do not want to get a, take the wrench and tighten this back on there because it'll be too tight the next time you go to get it off. I'm going to uh, get that on. And then I'll get my funnel and start adding some oil. I didn't film doing it, but I went ahead and filled the filter full of oil. So that way, when you start your car, not just pumping air it's actually got some oil in there to work with so let me get this back on 
I like to use the transmission funnel to add oil because it gives you more capacity. You don't have to worry about spilling over. And I also, whenever I use that, I spray it out with brake cleaner just to make sure it's nice and clean because it's usually a month or so in between oil changes around here on cars I'm buying and selling or whatever. Anyway, it always gets dust in it, whatever. So I make sure it's clean. Now I can start adding the oil there. And like I said, take seven and a half quarts. So I'll get the oil added and I'll start it up for a minute, let it circulate, shut it off and look for leaks. And I'll have to check the oil level, but right now I'm on these ramps, so it's not gonna read accurate. So I'll check that after I drive it off the ramps. So I bought two of these five quart containers. I was gonna buy those in one filter, but there was a special. They knocked a buck and a half off the filter and $3 off the oil if you bought oil and filter. So since I was buying two of these anyway, I bought an extra filter, which basically was for free. I'll just include it in the car when I sell it, but I always try to look for deals, see if they have anything. Now, I already put in five quarts, and this is five quarts, so I'm going to take her down to the two and a half quart level mark, and then we should be good to go. Well, I should be done with that. I think I got the seven and a half quarts in there. Put the cap back on. Now, what I usually do, because that's really full, I do have a pump, electric pump I could use, but what I usually do if I can is I'll just take that and dump part of it into this bucket. And then from there, I can put it back into one of the, an empty oil container. See, I think this is my empty one. Nope, this one. I have, as you can see, some oil. I just went and recycled some today. I'll have to make another trip. Anyway, I put it in there so it won't tip over. I put my funnel in there, and then once once I have that, you know, however much oil in there I'm going to put, half full or whatever, I'll start dumping it into that container until it's full. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody that's trying to change oil in the car. This car will look pretty good when I get the new bumper on it. I polished up the headlights. They were really yellow. They're still not perfect, but man, they want a lot for Cadillac headlights and everything that goes with Cadillac. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe.